Uh, let's uh, go to our last um, issue for today, which is politics. For the governor-elect of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chukuma Saludo, and his party, the All Progressives Grand Alliance, it's not yet Uhuru regarding their victory at the polls. Eleven political parties that participated in the state governorship election have filed petitions change, uh, challenging the outcome. According to the Secretary of the 2021 Anambra Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal, Surajo Guso, the parties challenging the outcome include the All Progressives Congress, the Action Democratic Party, and the Accord Party. Meanwhile, uh, Mr. Saludo got some boost in his governorship battle when a federal high court in Abuja dismissed the suit seeking to disqualify his victory at the November the 6th election. Delivering judgment in the suit, Justice Taiwo Taiwo described it as frivolous, irritated, baseless, and lacking in merit. The judge accused the plaintiffs of seeking to use the courts to scuttle democracy. Well, uh, today, Abbasan, let me take this to you first. What was your init initial reaction when you saw this? Because we thought that an Umbra, an Umbra election was done and dusted. Well, I think we have to accept and realize one thing that what is not uh, what is novel in Nigeria is that it is, uh, it is uh, unconventional for a politician who has lost an election to congratulate somebody who has defeated him. <laughs> we have to accept that. So that they are doing that is not so strange. But what, what, what I know is that over the years, we should learn democratic tenets. But we are too much impatient yeah. with democratic principles. Later on, maybe in the next three months, you will see some of these litigants raising some other issues that were not pertaining to election at all. So yes, let them try their best. But I think we should learn to learn the ropes, respect the law, let them go to the court if it is MCCS and they have money to spend, but let us learn to uh, respect democratic principles so that in future we can build a lasting democracy. They have every right to go to court mm. to do everything that they have done. But like I said, it should not surprise any Nigerian that is surprised that people are going to court. It's not in Nigeria. So <laughs> let them explore all legal and constitutional means to press whom their demand. But as far as I'm concerned, that Anambra election even surprised a lot of people. The moment IPOP decided to withdraw their seat at home and everybody went to the polls. I think that and with the with the cards that were used. Yeah, beavers. Uh, the, the, the beavers. The beavers that was yeah. used. Uh, Ednick has been able to convince Nigerians that it is possible for us to have the 23 elections by using that particular device. Mm. It also means that they have the capacity to give us free and fair election in 2023 mm -hmm. by what they have done in Anambra. And right. that if people are reined in, they can follow the process. So I will, by international observers, local observers, I will give the Anambra election 60% pass mark. Makes so, sense. but then because politicians are Nigerians, I, I am not surprised that people are going to court. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, well uh, Professor <laughs> Chukuma Saludo <laughs> surmounted a hurdle when uh, the Federal High Court dismissed uh, a suit seeking, you know, it's describing it, the justice describing it as frivolous, irritating, baseless, and lacking in merit. <laughs> Do you consider this latest petition as, well, maybe dead on arrival? Of course. Uh, you know, it was um, just a few days to the election that his uh, candidacy was confirmed. Members of his party fought him to the very end. Yeah. So just yeah. a couple of days. But uh, he, he was confident that he would be the one to fly the flag of the party. He was confident that he would be the standard bearer of the party. So he continued to campaign. Even when uh, he was attacked and three of his policemen were killed, he still continues so to campaign. Yeah. He was not scared to campaign, you know, unlike the other parties that didn't really campaign. I know a, a candidate <laughs> that they did not even campaign his local government at all. Yet he's the one complaining now that uh, yeah, he, he has gone to court. <laughs> you know, so, uh, the one that this one is not particularly uh, surprising to me that um, some of these candidates have come out to say no, Soludo um, did not win the election, that the election was characterized by irregularities. How? Yeah. The ADP, the, the candidate, Chafam, is okay, is saying that the Beavers was not known to the Electoral Act. <laughs> That's his <laughs> own basis. 
For That's a man whose party did not even did not feature <laughs> among the top contenders. Mm. How many votes did ADP get? ADP was literally non-existent on the resource sheet mm. in terms of his performance. Yet he had the balls to to to, to challenge uh, this. So it's, it's uh, an abuse of the court process for. People to see an election conducted like we saw in uh, Nambra, and for them to still come out. The beaver thing is so good that it captures your biometrics as, face, as well as your facials. So at least one of them will make you, will validate you. If your facials do not validate you, at least your biometrics, so you will be able to vote. So the era of uh, incident uh, oh. form is gone whereby people will just come they will write their names down they go and vote even if they were not registered to vote in that place mm -hmm. if even if it was somebody else's uh, um, card uh, card uh, pvc that they were carrying you know you cannot do that now when the beavers the your 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 card will be polling station specific so INEC is trying to modernize his processes and make it extremely difficult for politicians to rig. Mm -hmm. But I know that politicians too will not sit in one place. When INEC designs voter materials, like, uh, like uh, forms for ECA and the rest, mm -hmm. they put so many security features. The politicians will go and print the same, same thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you will find that all of the features that I, uh, security features that INEC puts on his, his forms are also present in the forged version. So it becomes difficult. Mm. That was why Guinea, what Guinea simply did in uh, Aquaibon was to, for the form EC8A, he, he personally initialed them. Mm. So anyone without his initials, because he knew that politicians would come up with those forms Different and even feel resources, fake resources into there. So anyone without his initials, he was sure that it was not distributed by INEC. So this is the situation. But I know that Prof will survive this. It's, it's, it's a, a no-brainer. Okay, uh, Prof will survive it. The election went well and... Yeah. Okay, just hold your breath a little. We have um, Peter from Jalingo who is trying to also make his own contribution. Peter, you have the floor. Journalist and God. Yeah, Peter. So, uh, the birthday. Oh, no. The birthday, the birthday, congratulations. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, we said that next year, yeah, what will get to 50. <laughs> so, so, from, different, from different angles. Even we are in Jalingo, we are in Jalingo. We'll give it to our work by next year, by God's grace. Thanks. All right, Peter. Yeah, I didn't want that. Thanks. So, my take is about the Anambra election. I was very surprised. So, I, start, I, start, I would have been surprised if in the game, I would happen to be in the same stage with Andy Levan, because in the game, for Anambra State, and he's a good politician, so I know what's on ground. He knows that Andy Levan cannot win governorship. That mm. election in Anambra State. Mm. Apart from Soluda aside, apart from the uh, PDP uh, candidate aside, then you keep order, we remove the addition and ask Anambra people to vote. I'm telling you, Andrew Bar will not win. Yes. Uh, that, that for Anambra State, you see, we, 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 Andrew Bar, you see, you see, local government check out. You see, <laughs> so, and I'm surprised that he's going to call, and mm. maybe he's hoping. For what happened in Nemo State, <laughs> to happen in Anambra State, I believe that that uh, angle you are know, looking to. But All right. uh, yes, yes. I believe you will fail. All right. Uh, number All right, four Peter. to number one. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Peter. Thank you so much for, for your contribution. Toda does not strike in the same spot. In the same spot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because oh. even the PDP that came second, they refused to. Uh, challenge the outcome of the election. In fact, the candidate congratulated mm. uh, Soludo. Soludo. Then um, if, um, Peter will be, we should be angry mm. that he made Abgar strong in that state and brought even the incumbent yes, governor. Yes. But 
They fought him. He left the party for them. He still congratulated uh, right. uh, Soludo after Soludo defeated the, his candidate. His candidate. So uh, somebody who now uh, <laughs> came third. He's eh? now the one. <laughs> ne never say never, yeah, Bikyo. Never, never say never. <laughs> well, one one of the striking, uh, most striking developments in that election was the new technology. You know the mm -hmm. bimodal voter mm -hmm. registration mm -hmm. accreditation system, Beavers. Um, do you see what implication do you think this will have for INEC, if anything? Because this is it, you really can't tell what what you can what you well, might well, be, I, I think uh, with the success we have in Anambra, and INEC has enough time between now and the next sixteen months yeah. to perfect the use of that by mother in all states of Nigeria when there will be election simultaneously in all parts of Nigeria. Yes, you mean you may say that Anambra is isolated. But I think if enough staff, it will not depend on logistics. If Anne can get its logistics right, yeah. it has shown that the rate of success of this by mother is much more better than the other system that we used. So they have enough time, sixteen months to now, before we have the next election to put their house in order and make sure that the logistics, because at times when electoral officials show, fail to show up until 9 o'clock, you cannot begin to use that thing. Mm. So logistics is another very important thing that the INEC has to do. If we can do that, let us march forward with this one. No matter what anybody may say, people will say that in their local government they cannot receive right. anything. Let us march forward and make sure that we have a credible election in Nigeria. All right, we, ju we have just a um, few uh, minutes to go. Just a few seconds, BK. So you don't um, spot any banana peel for Professor Charles Saludo no. in, no. in, in this old no, Kulabalu. No. no, I'm confident that he will try on. It's a massive shame that in spite of, in spite of the uh, excellent conduct of that election, uh, in spite of the fact that mm. even the president, who is the leader of the APC, APC. has come out to say the election was fair and fair. He has congratulated Saludo <laughs> and expressed a willingness to work with him, mm. the candidate of his own party. party. Is seeing things differently, so mm. that speaks volume, mm. you know. But I believe that the more our elections become transparent, more transparent, more credible, the litigations that usually accompany the elections drastically. Look at the declaration of the judge. Yeah. Just not, we don't waste so people people's just, time. Uh, instead of people to go behind the door and negotiate with the governor and mm. say, "Would you go?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, they, want to seek, <laughs> they want to seek recognition.